Hello everybody, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and today I am going to share with you a very good, important lesson about this car um, in terms of the modes, the driving modes. This car has three driving modes. Let's see if you can see it. EV mode, Eco mode, and Sports mode. I can tell you that the Eco mode is absolutely a useless mode. Basically, if you want to drive in eco, in a, in a, um, did I say eco? I'm, I meant the EV mode. Okay, one more time. The EV mode is a useless mode. If you want to apply the EV mode, basically your battery has to be full or almost full, and you have to go like down the hill, or you have to go on a straight line, barely touching the throttle. What does that mean? So let's say you're driving and you want to press the EV mode button. If you're not in this condition that I just described, the EV mode button, there will be a message on the display here that's going to say that EV is not engaged or something like this. Yeah, I just pressed EV, but I'm in standstill so you can see it, but, but it will not be effective at all. So it's really, uh, I don't know what it's for, it's really completely useless one. Let me skip to the sports mode. I tried the sports mode several times. This is a CVT car. So the sports mode, look, look what happened when you press it. When you press the sports mode, the display on the top where it says the P turns to red, as in I'm gonna spend a lot of gas. So here, when I press eco, it goes back to blue. So the uh, sports mode, I highly recommend never use it. I used it once going up a hill. It basically revs up the car, maybe, I don't know, to 8,000 RPMs, and it doesn't shift the gear at all. It just doesn't. It just screams and screams and screams and goes really fast, but with no personality whatsoever. So, the eco mode, which the car is on, I put it on all the time, it stays on unless you change it, is a fantastic mode. When you drive on the highway, when you're in cruising, uh, in cruising speeds, you really feel like driving a real, uh, an EV car, like driving my Leaf. Because uh, the, the motors, the three motors work together and you very little, very hardly hear the, uh, the gas engine. I mean, it's working, it's there, you can see it on the display, but it very rarely works. I mean, I mean, it, um, it does work, but you barely hear it. So, and you really cruise, and it's so nice. You get the displays here, and you see which motor works and which one works together, and all that. And it's very, very nice. So the eco mode, the eco mode is very good. If you need to push it, if you look over here, if you need, to, you have the power. If you need to push it and pass somebody over, overtake somebody, no problem. You get enough, plenty of power to go on really high speeds. It's really fantastic and it's very smooth and it's very quiet and it's EV like it's an EV like uh, feeling even though it's a hybrid which is what this car is so I, as you see I'm averaging now 38.7 miles but it's basically really um, in town driving usually it's it sells over 34 35 on the highway 33 34 something like that if you drive it carefully so Bottom line is the eco mode is the the best mode. The EV mode is just dysfunctional; doesn't it doesn't work at all. And the sports mode is a big, big scream that doesn't doesn't you know just makes a lot a lot of noise. But it does pick up speed. I have to say, it does go really, really fast. Okay, checking out the electric Israeli. Please subscribe to my channel and help me change the world one electric and hybrid car at a time. Have a great weekend.